In this video, we will be tasting and talking about a new addition to our Black Label Limited Edition Taiwan Tea Series, a roasted Shanlin Shi High Mountain Oolong Tea. We're here today introducing our newest addition to our Black Label Limited Edition series, roasted Shanlin Shi High Mountain Oolong Tea from winter 2021 harvest. We initially shared this uh, batch of tea with the Eco Cha Tea Club recently uh, and told its story there. And you can check those blogs out as well as the tasting video for a full and fuller background story to this batch of tea. Briefly, this is our winter 2021 batch of Shanlin Shi High Mountain Oolong Tea in its roasted version. Um, we sourced two bulk bags of winter 2021 harvest. Uh, there were two days to choose from, and we chose the more uh, slightly less oxidized, more fragrant selection. And um, our friend decided to use the slightly more oxidized, less fragrant, yet more balanced uh, composition to roast and enter into the winter 2021 Lugu Farmers Association Dongding Oolong Tea Competition. And he was awarded top 2% prize out of about 6,000 entries. So it's quite a prestigious award and worth a good amount of money for the uh, officially packaged award-winning teas. Uh, and after we got this news, we asked him to take our reserve stock of Shanlin Shi High Mountain Oolong and roast it in the same fashion. Given that it was the same harvest, just a different day, uh, processed basically the same. The results were very similar, slightly different in their flavor profiles. So uh, we now have um, from the same farm, same maker, uh, same harvest, a tea that won top 2% prize in the world's largest oolong tea competition, that uh, being the Lugu Farmers Association Dongding Oolong Tea Competition. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is basically competition grade uh, Lugu Farmers Association Dongding Oolong with uh, leaf material made from 1,500 meters uh, just on the border of Lugu Township and uh, Jushan Township in the Shanlin Chi uh, tea growing region. So we uh, had the whole uh, amount of our reserve stock destemmed and roasted, uh, and about uh, half of that went, or no, more than that, two thirds went to the tea club. We have a very limited uh, remaining amount to offer in our limited edition series. And possibly in the future, when we have the opportunity to uh, procure a batch of Shanlin Shi that we deem suitable for roasting, we may offer this uh, in future seasons and future years. We'll see how it goes. So, uh, winter harvest uh, destemmed considerably. About two or three kilograms uh, were reduced from the overall weight just by removing the stem material. Basically, uh, due to the quality standards of the competition, you need to destem your tea leaves in order for them to rank well. In addition to that, optimal roasting results are obtained by destemming your tea so that you have a more uniform leaf material. There's not both stems and leaves which roast unevenly and make it difficult uh, to get prime results. I'm reminded of uh, tasting this for the tea club. And I mentioned upon first sip that if I had to choose one tea for the rest of my life to drink, this would be the one. Uh, my tea life, I was kind of born and raised in Lugu and around this competition, so it makes sense on a personal level. But beyond that, the, the composition and flavor profile of this type of tea is extraordinary. It's very complex. It's, uh, I brewed, uh, by the way, six grams of tea in a 150 milliliter tea judging cup for two minutes. And then I brewed it three times, first, second, and third. I wanted to go lighter. I kind of wanted to go halfway between 
What the competition does is three grams of uh, tea leaves brewed for six minutes, twice, or at least once, and when they get to the higher levels, they brew it twice. That method is to bring out the short, to make the shortcomings or the less than ideal factors of tea making more obvious so that they can be more scrutinizing. I wanted to get enough flavor out of the brew so that I can appreciate what it's actually going to taste like when we brew it the way we want to, uh, but also get a, a more, a slightly more scrutinizing perspective of it, see what they taste like between the brews, and, um, and then uh, suggest that we all do similar things. Brew it in a more uh, analytical way like this, and then go for your favorite brewing method. Um, we would recommend for a roasted tea like this that is very clean in its leaf material, uh, destemmed to competition grade. It's super uniform in its color, the size, is uniform. There are some smaller nuggets from the leaves being crumbled uh, during the destemming process. But again, um, this guy knows how to do it. He has been a tea judge at this competition for over 20 years, just retired last year because they need to retire at 55 uh, in order to let the new generation in. Uh, where was I? So. Uh, we might recommend a 1 to 17 ratio of leaf to water, so 10 grams of tea for 170, 175, 180 milliliter pot. Uh, that might bring you to the fullest flavor profile without overdoing it and losing the complexity. You can definitely go lighter. You know, you can do a 1 to 20. If you go up to 1 to 15, you will get a satisfying brew. It'll be denser, more concentrated, more kick, but it may not have as much complexity as when you brew it a little less concentrated. The second brew is noticeably darker than the first brew. Not surprisingly, these cups, especially with a roasted tea, uh, it takes a little while for those leaves to fully open up and brew. So the first brew is a lighter uh, orange, uh, golden, not quite brown. The second is a little more reddish brown, still nice, beautiful copper, shiny, bright, very transparent. And from my perspective, the second and third brew look pretty much the same. So much going on. Uh, with that sip, I immediately thought dried apricots. There is definitely a fruity element, a caramelized element, uh, a little bit of smoky element from the roasting. These leaves were roasted for about 22 hours total uh, over three different roastings. Starting with a lower heat of 80 degrees or more and working their way up to about 120 degrees at the final roasting. Super balanced, super full flavored. Makes uh, the, your, my, I'm salivating back in the back of my palate with this tangy, fruity, woody, grainy, toasted grains. Um, very complex and satisfying. Did I say that already? <laughs> It's a classic batch of tea. It's very representative of this region here in Nanto County, Taiwan. Uh, some of the best, uh, well, let's just say, produced by our personal favorite uh, source of high mountain oolong tea and uh, processed by one of the most sought after and prestigious uh, tea making teams in the industry. Their tea is bought uh, consistently by competition players and uh, achieves awards on an annual basis. So um, really filling all the checks, uh, check boxes for uh, the qualifications for making this a specialty tea from Taiwan. Roasted Shanlin Shi High Mountain Oolong Tea made in the fashion of uh, the Lugu Farmers Association Dongding Oolong Tea Competition. 
Check out this and all of our other selections in our Black Label Limited Edition series. Thanks for being with us.